Hello, 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 everyone and welcome once again to Huna Your Highness TV and I'm really 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 happy to be doing this with you well some people have seen multiple comments about the various dialects among the Ga and Dangbe languages and people have who wish to know all these things and I feel this is the right time to do this because the International Mother Language Day which is on the 21st February is almost here so why, why don't we do this and then we continue with other series to commemorate uh, February being the International Mother Language Month. Okay. So first of all, the Ga language and the Dangbe language are there dialects among them? So we are going to have a discussion. Okay. There will be another video where it will be differences among the Ga languages where I will host someone that will be talking about this but for now I just want to give you an explanation break things down before that conversational video so if you are new to this channel this channel is about the study of the Ga and Dangbe language as well as um, our culture and histories okay yeah I upload videos to illustrate how everything is done okay first of all to begin we have something we call a proto language proto language a proto language is a language which can be termed as an original language so let's assume ga and dangbe came out from a proto language came out from an original language a mother language so there was once a language which um, it is speculated to be called the Kushi language because they don't really know the original name for it so some say okay let's call it the Kushi which is old Ga and old Dangbe it was just one language but then for linguistic sake we will call it the proto Ga Dangbe language so this proto Ga, -Ga Dangbe language okay um, was spoken for a long time and then it started changing over time and during our migration we we came to Nigeria, both Gans and Dangbe. We stayed in Nigeria. There were one people speaking one language. There was no difference in language. But Nigeria, but as Nigeria, we split up. Half of us were staying in the Benin city. Another half of us stayed at um, Ileife. Okay, so even if they had this sort of Yoruba influence, whereas those at Edo had this um or the Be Benin city so we had this Edo influence so that these influences began the separation so it, the separation began so some of our languages picked up the Yoruba Ashe to mean which another person picked up the Edo as as a meaning which so even to date Gan say Aye from Yoruba Ashe and then the Dangbe say Aze from Edo Aze to mean which and it continues there are so many ways so that is this is where the separation began okay so proto language proto gadangbe then it developed to old ga and old dangbe but old ga and old dangbe were closely related languages very very related like the differences were just small tiny very tiny differences okay yeah and gradually we came to ghana and when we came to Ghana, we set, we started settling from the east to the west. Okay, from the east to the west, that's how we settled. So east is Dangbe land, and west is Ghana land. So we still came with our old Ga and old Dangbe languages, and old Ga really look like dangbe and old dangbe to really look like old ga so their old forms they were very very related they're almost the same um you could say they're the same language with just some tiny differences just tiny ways that span from this yoruba edo languages so just some minor minor ways okay but when we came to settle here you know some say ga developed from dangbe it's not really so ga didn't really develop from dangbe 
old guy i would say old guy is closely rela related to dangbe itself but modern guy is a bit far away because it has lot lots of borrowings so if we are understanding what we are doing or what we are explaining there was a protocol original language and back at nigeria it started different splitting up okay this one split this one split those are tele effect pick that some vocabulary which those at edo wouldn't understand and they brought it here so when we came to settle, let's go back to the Dangbe side. You know, Dangbe itself, we some of us first settled at Ada, then to Ningo, then to the Krobo lands. But first of all, we settled at a place called Osuwim before migrating to the Krobo lands. So at Osuwim, okay, let's take our three original settlements, Ada, Ningo, and Osuwim. Now, those at Ada, okay, later had encounter with the Ewes and started borrowing words from the Ewe language into their language. Those at Ningo were in the middle. Then, those at Osuim. Then, from these three settlements, then more settlements began to be established, like Sege, Pram Pram, Afienya, and Co. Krobo. It goes on and goes on and goes on. Then some of us moved from Ningo to Tema, then from Tema to Nungwa, from Nungwa to what was the name? Gamashin, which is Accra itself. And later, some people from Osu we moved to the Ghana lands and called the place Osu. So from Accra, I come to Osu before Labadi. Then some of the Ghans in the north, or the old Gapu in the north, moved to the coast to establish the Labadi lands. And then, as for Teshin, some people from Nungwa, some people from Labadi, some people from Pram Pram, all came to mix up and the Krobos to form Teshin. So you see how it was. We are mostly a mix. We are mostly a mix because teaching is a mix, also mix. We've mixed up, so we can't really say that there are pure guys and pure language. We've mixed up, but then let's come back to the dialect. Let's come back to the dialect. So our dialects move eastwards to westwards. So we have east being dominated by Dangbe, and then west being dominated by Ga. Okay. And originally for Dangbe itself is Ada B, which is the languages have separated. Ada B, Dag B, Dag B, B or Wada. Meaning we separated the language. So let me just come and explain some developments over here. When you get to, I you know I first Ada, okay, Ada is more like the end of the Greater Accra moving eastwards, the end. That's our last tribe or the last group of our tribe getting to the end. And they have contact with the Ewe people. And when you say that that language, it's, some, it's more like a dialect continuum. It's like Ewe evolving into Ada. And then from Ada up to Sege, it's like they speak the same dialect. And they have lots of words they share with Ewe, like maybe... Um, Agometaku, they call ginger agometaku, whereas some say ojawi, and some also say kakachupa. Now we are going to come into all this, but let's take agometaku. Agometaku is ewe, which most of the Adans say, but some of the Adans also coming a little bit westwards, we will say oja ojawi. Okay, so agometaku being ewe, which they've borrowed, but then some will come to ojawi, then to change to kakachupa at a point. And Kakachufa is the how the gun say it. So it keeps evolving westwards. So when you take the map of Accra and you draw a straight line through, okay, our language keeps changing about every, let's say, every 10 kilometers. No, 10 kilometers. Let me every six miles the language change a bit every six miles it will change till you end the greater Accra region that is from eastwards to westwards so we are the west wager it keeps changing like maybe every 10 miles till you get to wager then so you will not get the same variant if you are walking to the end no you won't get it it keeps changing 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 from com some about two or three communities will share the same dialect or maybe the fourth community it will evolve a bit over there then it keeps going so at that up to Sege, we may say they speak the same dialect 
Then we have Ningo. Yeah, Ningo. Afienya. Go so we may say they speak the same dialect, Chopoli, because they almost speak the same dialect. But now this is how it goes. Ada may be a bit different. Maybe people of Ningo, okay, when you move to Ada, I come to Ningo. People of Ningo may have some words which do see we do say we do seem as weird in the other language, you know, in the other dialects. But people of Ningo too have words which people of Ada may understand, but they'll say this is ga. So most of the adults will be like Ningo is Gadangbe, Ga like Dangbe, because they have lots of Ga in their language. The same way when you move from Ningo to Pram Pram, it becomes more Ga. Then from Pram Pram you go to Pong, then it's a mix. So people of Bugbula itself or Pram Pram, we call their language Bugbula because it's mixed Ga and Dangbe. It's like from Ningo, you feel the dangbe better when you get to bugbula it changes now you could see that it has it is almost evolving into ga so bugbula consists of pram pram dawenya and some other communities you feel that this is now ga like dangbe they are speaking ningo itself is evolving into ga but it didn't evolve proper till it gets to pram pram then you feel the e evolution when you go to Bo, you realize that now it's but people of Bo also speak dangbe like ga it's Gamba that's speaking, but you feel Dangbe in it. But as Pram Pram, you feel Dangbe more than you feel it at Po. But Po, it's more like, let's say that Pram Pram is 50% Ga, 50% Dangbe. When you get to, okay, okay, let's go back. Let's take Ada. Let's take, let's assume Ada is maybe 80% Dangbe and 20% Ewe. When you get to Ningo, Ningo people will eliminate about 15% of the airway. They look like 5% airway, 95% Dangbe. Then you have to move to Pram Pram. Then Abraham Ad Pram Pram will strike 50 50. 50% Gan, 50% Dangbe. So Pram Pram is totally in between. Then you get to Po. Then Po, po will use 35% Dangbe, 65% Gan. Then you move to Tema. Then Tema will eliminate about 5%, 30% Dangbe. 70% um, Gan. Then you come to Nungwa. Nungwa will still maintain about 20% Dangbe, then 80% Gan. But now, the funny thing is, Nungwa has some unique words, which is just unique to them. No other Gan community uses. Because way back in the 1900s, they isolated themselves because they didn't want any contact with the whites. So the Nungwa dialect evolved, evolved in, in, the, in its own way. Then you move to Teshi. You know, Teshi is a mix of Bugbla, Krobo. So, as for them, initially they should have their own unique language. But because of close contact with the people of Nungwa, so they, it's like their Ga to, it's almost Nungwa Ga. It's, they speak eventually between Nungwa. People of Nungwa also live with them. And you know, Teshi is Ga dominated. So, eventually they, the Bugbla people, the people among the Teshis, um, didn't pass down their Dangbe. They pass down the ga, but then the Nungwa ga element is in Teshin because of the close person. Because we walk from Nungwa to Teshin, Teshin people walk from Teshin to Nungwa. So Teshin and Nungwa is almost the same language. I'll give you examples to help you understand better. Then when you get to La, then the ga now you feel the ga itself because Teshin people, La people, it's more like they are now speaking the ga, the actual evolution. Because when old ga and old Dangbe evolved, okay. Old Dangbe evolved into modern Dangbe. Modern Dangbe itself has dialects. You have the Adan dialect, Ningo dialect, Bugbuna dialect, Klo dialect. Klo dialect because people of Krobo. I'll come back to Krobo. Okay. The original name is Klo. And then the Shai Osudoku, we wish to say the Osu dialect. I'll come back to those two. I've not spoken about them. So let's come to Labadi. But then the old Gan also evolved to modern Gan. And as for modern Gan, it's a lecture on its own. We also talk about it. So the La people, okay. Now we have the Gan itself. Then Osu, then Gamashin. Those that's the Gan itself, the proper Gan. Okay. So let me first of all let's go to Osu. You know, also is mainland Dangbe, it's in, it's in the middle of the Dangbe land. So most of the dialectization, okay, didn't really affect them. So we can say they have maintained Dangbe to its core. They have maintained it very purely, very, very pure. Also, then the Klo people, some of the Klo people have maintained the Dangbe in its pure state, but there are some close 
close to Akan lands. Okay, some people, some close people at Bon, they have this airway airway borrowing. Like that's something they call Wovi, and you you can know that this is airway. And then maybe if they they say you are lying, you are lying in that way is Ongonya, Ongonya. Or ongelak by now the people of Klo will still say ongelak by but the ongonya do say obua and obua is akan which is obua so you see our languages our our dialects you know our languages are just ga and dang those are two languages that we have but then the dialects there are dialects in them yeah so let's take some words and let me explain now maybe I said I said in dangbe okay we have no specific way because the people of adam will say in k in k now when you go to ewe ewe is maybe maybe in k maybe in k you see now when you come to ningo ningo will say in k in k we now evolve to in k then now you are coming to the gun in k then when you go to pram pram in k in k nasal ningo in k Then when you get to Krobo, don't say inke, inke, ningo, inke, bubula, inke, Krobo, and osu, inke, the guy is inke. So you see how interesting it gets. It just keep as you move westwards, then it changes till it meets the guy. Maybe white, white in Ada is futa. Futa, Ningo post also say Futa, but when you move, then you then you become Eye, Eye, Ingbugula, and Krobo. Those say Eye. The guy is Eye, but when you move to Ada, then it will be changing small. Eye from Ghanland, Eye, then you move to Bugula, Krobo, Eye, then Futa, then it goes. Maybe get up. Dangbes, most Dangbes will say Tesi. Almost every dang will say Tesi. But when you get to Bubla, they will say Tesi or Mo Tesi. So let's, uh, let's imagine the dang are saying Mo Tesi. Okay. The dang will say Mo Tesi. Let's assume. You can say Mo Tesi or Tesi. Both are correct. Okay, okay, okay. Let me just do it this way. The people of Adam will say Mo Tesi. Okay. Ningo, which is my original that it also say Mo Tesi. Yeah, I'm, my dad is Ningo, so I know Ningo very well. Adam Motesi. Ningo Motesi. Then you get to um, Krobo. Okay, Krobo say Tesi. Tesi. Motesi. Motesi. Krobo will eliminate the Mo and will say, only say Tesi. Tesi. Then we will come to Bubula. Then we will say Motesi. Tesi, moteshi. Then the guys will say teshi, krobo, teshi, bubula, moteshi. Then the guys in between teshi. So the guys use the bubula shi. And then they eliminate the mo just like the crop people eliminate. So teshi, moteshi. The guys will say teshi. So let's take krobo. Teshi ne oba. Teshi ne oba. Ada moteshi. Ada eningo mo moteshi ne oba. Motesi ne oba. Krobo tesi ne oba. Eh, pram pram mo motesi ni oba. Motesi ni oba. Then ga tesi ni oba. <laughs> so you, you saw that. You, you see how it moves. It moves. It moves this way. Now, as to which one is the original language, there is no agreement. But then, it happened that there is standardized ga and the standardized dangbe. But you know the ga language was standardized earlier, way, way, way earlier. Someone like me, you know, growing up in school, we were all taught standard ga, and we were told that the ga we speak at home is wrong ga. So we were psyched up to uh, accept the standard ga we learn at school as the original ga. You know, but growing up, I realized that no. The standard guy just standard, but my dialect, which is the dialect I speak, the Nungwa dialect I speak, is also gone. Just that at school they say there's a back no. So now I'm going back to my original dialect. Yeah.
Okay, half of my my half side, my parents, okay, half of my parents is from Accra itself. That's the Gamashi itself, and half is also Nungwa. So I speak both dialects very well. And half also from Dangbe. So I speak all three dialects very well. I can articulate them. Okay, so now let me give some example. So it's like this standard guy. Okay, before I give them some, this standard guy help most of the gang communities okay accept that one as a um, good guy so most people started merging merging so let the people of nungwa like this people of nungwa can articulate their dialect as well as the standard guy standard guy is the gang of gamashi okay the gang of gamashi they use the standard gun so people of nungwa can articulate both but most of the time the people of gamashi find it difficult to understand people of Teshi and Nungwa because it is dialectized. For example, Basin. From Labadi going, they will say Gagba. Gagba. They will say it's Basin. But people of Teshi and Nungwa will say Okolu. Okolu. Now, most guns will call smoke fish or grilled fish as Shitolo. So they say as Shitolo. Including the people of Pong, all of them say Shitolo. But Nungwa and Teshi, they will not say Shitolo. They will say Lonasha. Lonasha, yeah. So most people in Nungwa, when they say Shitolo, they'll be like, "What Shitolo?" They tend to get confused. Unless those who have lived with these dialectic groups, then they, but otherwise, a Nungwa person who has not traveled before, who has stayed, no, 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 he he or she won't understand. And the same applies to the others. When a Nungwa person says maybe Opolu, most of them struggle to understand it. Now maybe you are lying. You are lying. Like I told you, most of the language will say Ongonya. Very close. We say Obua from Akan. Now, no one intention. They say Opasa. Opasa. It's very unique to the people of nation. Nunga Opasa. But then the girls from Labadi Gondo will say Omale. Omale. So you see. Now, for to say someone that you are using, you are you are speaking profane or you are using profane words. In Teshin, in Nungwa, I'm not sure about Teshin, but then for Nungwa, I can confidently say the word is Oja Susu. Oja Susu. Oja Susu. Teshin is Oboyakaka or Ojeyakaka. Oboyakaka or Ojeyakaka. But then the other gang committee also say Ojeyakaka. So you see, even the gun itself, there are variations. Let's take, let's take um, someone getting possessed. In Nungwa, we usually, Nungwa intention, they usually say, Eishin, Eishin. Most gun can say Eishin. But then when you, uh, you are moving this way to, boom, pram, pram, they say, a machine, a machine. So Nungwa, when people of Nungwa will say Eishin, but they will say, a machine. Okay, now maybe take it. Most guys come including Nungwa, they will say um, ko, ko. Okay, but people of Pung, they don't say ko, they say ngo. So maybe from Tema up to Nungwa, they will say ko hami. But then Pung will say ngo o hami. And the language will say mo ngo o hami. And it goes on and on and on and on. You know, so that that so there is no clear distinction because it is just intertwined. It's intertwined because gun has been standardized. Okay, dangbeto has been standardized. So now we don't know clearly, but if we, we should assume there's no standardization, then the standardization move from the east to the west. Okay, it moved from the east to the west. And from maybe about every 10 miles. And you know, this is how our ancestors did our lands. From Adan to Sege will be Adan lands. There will be some no man's land. Small no man's land. That for no one supposed to settle there to separate the communities. Then Ningo communities will start. Ningo, Chopoli, Lekbo, and Co. Do all and Ningo. 
then there will be some small no man's land before you get to the Bugbulan lands. There will be some small no man's before you get to Po. Now that small no man's land before you get to Tema. Then Tema to Nungwa is separated by the Sakumo River. So there's this no man land, the Sakumo River separate before you get to Nungwa. Then there's this small no man's land, okay, where the Sango River is. And you see every today, people of Nungwa Station respect that no man's land. So, so that it will separate the communities to help, you know, it helps. But these days, you know, yeah. Okay. So let me give some few examples. Let's take, put it down. Uh, we have, okay, place it down. Now, people of Adam will say, Kefonsi, Mo Kefonsi. Moke Fonsi. Moke Fonsi. The club people will say, Kefonsi. Then when you come to Ningo Kefonsi, then you come to Pram Pram, Moke Machine. Moke Machine. Well, you can say Keng Machine or Kefonsi for the pool of Po. They come to Nungwa, Keng Machine or Kefonsi. So you see, Although you, you can still say Moke function among the Prampa people. So you see Moke function. So the Mo makes it look like Dangbe. And then the Ke function makes it also Ga. So you know the people of Bugbla is just unique. Maybe first in Dangbe is Kekle. Kekle. Ga is Klen Klen. Bugbla. Which is in between guys that we also say clang clang. You know, when you want to say king, king in Dangbe is mache. Mache, mache. Ga um, is manche. Can we guess how people of Bugbla say? Because Bugbla is more like. <laughs> can we guess? Bugbla will say, also say manche. Let me give you some example. The king says the king said that the king said that and God will say manche ke ake manche ke ake manche ke ake keep this in your head manche ke ake Bugbla will say manche o manche o deke manche ke ake manche o deke then the Dangos will say Macho. So instead of manche, like people of Bugbulan do not say manche, do say mache, ma macho deke, ma even yeah mancho deke, macho deke, mancho ke ake. So I hope you are getting it. Yeah, it goes on and on and on. So basically. There are dialects in Ga itself and there are dialects in Dangbe. So let me officially list the dialects for you. The dialects are the Adan dialect, the Ningo dialect, the Bugbulan dialect, the Osu, Shai Osu dialect, and then the Klo dialect. We have five Dang Dangbe dialects. Now we have some. Okay, let's take it that way. Because those ones are intermediary dialects. Like Bawaleshi and Ko, they are intermediary. So let's just ignore them. So we have five Dangbe dialects. Let's come to the Gan. We have the Pon dialect. Pon Tema. Basically, it's the same. Pon Tema dialect. Then we have the Nungwa, Teshi Nungwa dialect. Teshi Nungwa dialect. Well, Teshi, Teshi. Okay, let's say Nungwa dialect too. Teshi variant of Nungwa dialect. Teshi is a variant of the Nungwa dialect. I'm speaking Nungwa dialect, but it's a variant. So let's say Teshi variant of Nungwa dialect 3 or Teshi dialect 3. Then the Gan dialect from Labadi to Gamashi 4. Then we have the Pombawaleshi around Legon. They also have their own dialects that they speak, making five. Five dialects. So five dialects for Ga, five dialects for Dangbe. These are just the general ones, but there are some intermediary ones. The, the intermediary ones. So we may say five dialects for Ga or five 
general that for Gaffa, general for that for that, but some petty petty that is addition here and there that may still, yeah, maybe border communities to merge and all that. But then, luckily for the Ghana, with the, it has been standardized, so once you speak the standard form anywhere you go, you will be understood. The same applies to Dangbe, but Dangbe standardization was just recent. So usually you feel the digitization in Dangbe more than in Ghana. Yeah, okay. Is there any question you wish to ask? Another a continuation video will be done about this and it will, it will be more of a discussion video where we are, we, are, we are going to sit down to talk about the differences between Ghana dialects and we are just going to state our examples here. Yeah. I will do it with a friend and we are just going to create examples and see if we understand each other. And for you to picture how we, how we would react. Okay. So without much I say, I want to say if you have any question, do well to ask. My name is Hunia and... If you wish to follow most of my works, you can check the description box below. You will see some writings. Click on more details about my works are there. You can go to my blog, historicalhuna.blogspot.com. Um, click on it. I've written a whole lot of articles. Read them. Share them. My YouTube videos, share them so that you help this channel grow. To help me to do more because... Um, as the work goes on and as the audience keep and they keep sharing, it also helps me to raise fans to be able to keep educating about the Ghan because there's little to no resource on the Ghan and Dangbe language. And I'll say this channel is helping bridge that resource gap. It's helping bridge. Well, some works have been done, but most people complain it's not enough. So I also need support. Help me share to reach more people, to keep educating people about their Ghana and Dangbe languages. And without much I say, thank you very, very much. If you wish to learn Ghana, then you're on the right channel. Just learn it here. If you wish to learn Dangbe too, this is the place to do it. And without much I say, Nye Yiwala Don, Nye Chumyo. And check the description box below. There's a video linking to the names of communities in both the Ga and Dangbe side. Click on it and learn about the communities, uh, the Gans and Dangbe communities. Learn about them. Also, there's a link to the total list of videos on this channel. Okay. Thank you very, very much. Go.